What it is, guys, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you with another Dokkan Battle video. Now, we are talking about JP today, but I'm going to be using my global account as examples of what we're dealing with. I just think it's going to make this a little bit easier to digest, okay? We are, of course, talking about the EZA Physical Kid Boo that we've known about for a while. We finally got confirmation he is coming to Dokkan Battle, okay? There is another thing, though, and I'll get to that here in a minute. But let's talk about Kid Boo first. Now, mine sadly isn't Dokkan. I have done very, very little with him. I never use him. That might change, actually. Okay? Now, follow me here. Physical Kid Boo, when he Dokkans, uh, his leader skill is uh, attack increases max 50% based on HP left. This is currently max 30% base at uh, when uh, HP is 80% or above. Okay? His new leader skill after his uh, Extremes Awakening is all types key plus 3, HP and defense, 50% attack increases based on remaining HP. Maximum 80%. Um, not a great leader skill. I don't know how often you'd even bother using that. But, I mean, it might be fun. Bring a little challenge to certain events, things like that. That might be fun, actually. I, I, I like the, the mechanic of how it works. It really kind of forces you to start using heals and stuff like that. Um, this seems like a fun thing to, uh, to do. And plus, you might be able to use the new uh, boo that they just got on that team. That'd be pretty cool. He might link pretty well. I have to look at all that. Just came to my head because that one requires healing too. Okay. Now, super attack. The old one is planet burst causes supreme damage and lowers defense. The new one is deals immense damage to the enemy and lowers defense. Pretty big deal. That's a huge, 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 huge change. Okay. Old passive, planetary destruction, attack and defense, 50% for all allies when HP is 80% or above. Okay. New passive, when HP is 80% or above, all allies key plus 2, attack and defense, 50%. And when HP is 79% or below, all, attack, all allies attack and defense, 30%, right? So this guy becomes a pretty interesting unit. Good, we'll have to see. But interesting nonetheless, okay? Excuse me. The links and the teams, on the other hand, sorry, it's really late. The links of the teams shouldn't change. Everything on that regard should remain the same. It's just the leader skill and the passive and all that that tend to change on these guys. But that said, uh, of course, this is the Undokan unit. The Dokkan unit has a couple extra things there, but neither here nor there. Uh, he is going to become an interesting unit. And one thing about Kid Buu that I don't think a lot of people have realized, he is farmable. All the Kid Boos are actually farmable from the buff boo, okay? Let's go ahead and showcase that unit. Okay. Let's see if I can pull him up here. We'll go by character. Boom. All right, oh, there he is right off the bat, okay? Now this boo, this boo right here, when you Dokkan Awaken him, in fact, I'll just run over here to Dokkan Awaken, Okay, when you don't kind of awaken him from this form, he transforms into this boo. Now this this kid boo is a farmable super tech for all the kid boos in the game. Pretty straightforward. You see how? I mean, look how frequently you pulled this guy. He is just one of the more prominent units in the game. Very simply put, <clears throat> one of the more prominent units in the game. So. You got time. Start working them. As you can see, I've got tons of these. I actually had intended to work on other ones. I farmed up all my Int Boo. I've been working on the AGL because I just rainbowed him tonight on stream. Um, and we're going to be working... Well, I didn't rainbow him, but I got my final dupe for him. Um, obviously, the physical Kid Boo is going to be my next target. So, you got time. Every time you get one of these guys, save him. You don't need to do it today, you don't need to do it tomorrow, but spend the next six months or whatever, however long it takes for him to get here, farming these units and getting them up. If you do one a week, you'll be there done in no time. It'll be super easy. Super duper easy. So, that's what I want to talk about with that. Now, interestingly, we did get notification that that's not the only EZA coming. We are also getting STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. 
Flip what? No joke. Two easy A's look like they're coming simultaneously. It's like the equivalent of an easy A uh, dual Dokkan fest. Okay. It is. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I don't think I've doke on this one either, to be completely honest with you. But he should be around here somewhere. Did I pass him? I don't th think I passed him. There's Vegeta. Uh, there's Vegeta again. I thought he'd be closer to the top here. Anyway. It's the one with the bang. Pretty straightforward stuff. Um, old school unit, yes. I think it's this one. I think it's the other one. Well, let's find out. Okay. Um... Okay, yes. This is the one. This is the one that Dokkan's... This is what he is going to be starting. Okay? Uh, and... So, current leader skill at uh, all types, attack plus 30%. Meh. Never going to use that. New leader skills, key plus 2, HP attack, and attack 50%. Still not going to use it. I'll be real with you. Uh... As you can see here, causes supreme damage and lowers defense. New super attack is deals supreme damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Not immense. Not immense damage, but that greatly lowers defense. You guys should know I absolutely love that mechanic. So he's going to become basically a support unit on your team. Okay. Old passive. Let's talk about that. Attack 80% when HP is 30% or above. The new passive is going to be, and this is a weird one, so follow me here. This is this takes some brain maths. Own defense plus 40%, and when HP is 30% or above, attack 80%. When HP is 50% above, add an additional 30%. And when HP is 80% or above, add, add another 30%. So at max power, basically 80% or above, they're at... 140% attack. That's big. That actually makes him quite viable. But you have to heal him. You gotta keep him at the top of his game. But we'll throw him on a Super Saiyan 3 team and he'll still be just absolutely phenomenal. No question about that whatsoever. So, and of course the links and all that are gonna remain the same. Pretty straightforward stuff, guys. Uh, yes, I do need to work on these guys. I don't have them dokan. And as we know, Battlefield is coming, so you better believe I'm going to be working on these units. So, fortunately, this guy is not farmable. He requires Kai's. It's a thing, guys. But, that is going to be the video, guys. We've got so much coming. When we get more information on these, I will be dropping that at that point in time. But, other than that, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Just like every other easy A as far as the fight goes. So, uh, as soon as we get the information on the fight, and of course... You know, being a hero strength, you could probably bet that your villain uh, AGL team should be taking him on. And with uh, AG the physical type being a villain, it'll probably be just as easy as just as easy as Frieza was tonight. So there you go, guys. And yes, we did beat Easy A Frieza on stream. I'll have the video on that coming out. Plus, going a little beyond. We'll see how far we can get. So. A little bit of a challenge there. Anyway, guys, that is the video. New stuff coming to Dokkan Battle. This is hype. This is going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow the Birdman. Hit me up a Booker. That's, of course, Twitter and Facebook for those of you that don't know. And I will lay your asses out with more crazy hype information on new units coming to the game, as well as other fun stuff happening next time.